Hello everyone, it's Film Series Recap here. Today I continue to tell you about Erased. In the last video, we talked about Satoru who is taken away by the police and the rescue attempt has failed 18 years ago, but just before Satoru was taken away in the police car, he clasped his hands and shouted, let me back to the past. Immediately, the scene changed, Satoru and Ko were at the technology center and Satoru was in tears. As time went back to February 29th, the day before Ko was killed 18 years ago, it was already the third time Satoru celebrated this day. At school, Satoru's best friend, Kenya Kobayashi, approached Satoru, because he felt that Satoru had become different. He had also noticed Ko's injuries before, but he couldn't do anything about it until Satoru started to intervene in the case, so Kenya wanted to help him too, and March 1st passed peacefully, Ko was killed on the night of his birthday, March 2nd, so this time he made sure to protect Ko, and on the night of his birthday, he first went to Jun Shiratari's house to make a mess of his house, hoping Jun Shiratari would have an alibi. Then Satoru tried to kill Ko's mother, but just when he wanted to push Ko's mother down the stairs, Kenya stopped him, Satoru was still too impulsive, he went back to his mother's house and told her that he would bring Ko back to his house, but this time Satoru became a kidnapper, instead of bringing Ko back home, he hid Ko in an abandoned bus with Kenya. Ko was absent from school and did not return home for two days. Late that night, Ko was sleeping in the bus when suddenly someone kicked the box outside and threw a school bag. After school, Satoru and his friends came to pick up Ko. Ko gave Satoru knitted gloves as a late birthday present and also talked about the school bag last night. The guys opened the bag and found that it contained rubber shoes, tape, helmets, rope and so on. He remembered the whole Ko thing when he first went back in time, the night of her birthday, March 2nd, Ko had been brutally beaten and locked in the warehouse. She disappeared between 10 and 11 am, with the killer's fingerprints nearby. Satoru thought that Ko couldn't stay on the bus anymore, it was too dangerous, so Satoru thought that the safest place was her house. Satoru expected Ko to have a safe night at his house, but Satoru's mother had called and explained the situation to the class teacher. The next morning, when Ko saw the table full of breakfast, she ended up crying because her mother had never prepared anything like this. Satoru took Ko to her mother's house after school and the child counseling center finally had the opportunity to meet Ko's mother, who had been avoiding her for a long time, but Ko's grandmother appeared and dissuaded her that her mother had divorced her and raised Ko by herself. During the night, when she remembered what had happened to her, she ended up hitting Ko. Ko is now in the care of a child counseling center and lives with his grandmother. Ko's case is over for now. But Ko is not the only victim of the kidnapping, there is also Sugita Hiromi who was in her class, and Nakanishi Aya, a girl from the nearby school. Satoru's task now is not to let these two people get killed, and Satoru was investigating Nakanishi's stay at the school and following Sugita whenever he has free time. In addition to following Sugita, he brings Nakanishi back home, trying to protect them. After a lot of effort, Satoru and his friends finally managed to talk to Nakanishi, but she teased them about the fact that there were boys who were scouting secret bases. As time went by, Nakanishi started to get along with them and was part of the group that was spotting their secret base. Now that Sugita and Nakanishi are no longer alone, the killer will not be able to target them, thus protecting Ko and the others, but also leaving Satoru with no idea where to find the killer. The killer has lost his target and goes to look for another one. Sugita tells Satoru that Yunagahara Misato has been alone in class lately and that Misato has been attacked by her classmates. Satoru was following Misato to the gym. When he arrived at the gym, Misato was sitting alone, and before Satoru could talk to him, Misato went to the bathroom. Satoru then saw Jun Shiratori's car, which indicated that the murderer lived in the neighborhood. Satoru asked his homeroom teacher to help him find the murderer, and they followed Jun Shiratori's car. According to you, who is the culprit, if you know, don't spoil us especially, we will find you for the next video. If you like this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to this channel.